If you're struggling with high credit card balances right now, you are definitely not alone. The Federal Reserve reports that credit card debt has climbed to a new record high, $1.13 trillion. Experts say the majority of those struggling are lower and middle income Americans who tend to be renters running through their savings and increasingly financing spending on credit cards. News for Jack's consumer investigative reporter Tiffany Salome joining us now live downtown outside the local credit union. Tiffany, which uh, as I understand it helped us compile some of the financial options for people struggling to pay the bills. Yes, they have, and it's great advice, Kent. Credit card balances are now higher than they they were pre-pandemic. Now, the reason why can be attributed to the higher cost of living and how easy it is to swipe a credit card. If you had like monthly expenses you couldn't pay for, would you be using a credit card? Honestly, I would. I use a credit card for any, any purchase, but I don't overspend my limit. Vacations, that's what I use it for. You most likely have a credit card sitting in your wallet. But how often do you use it? New data from the Federal Reserve of New York suggests Americans battling inflation are using their credit cards more than ever. And how did we get here? Well, you know, a part of it, not really the faults of our own, <laughs> you know what I mean? Except that it's hard for us to change our spending habits so drastically. And that's what's happened is all of the increases in the interest rates and to borrow that money and just the daily cost of living has increased, but we haven't stopped spending the way that we typically spend. And so so that's how we're seeing a lot of people get into such high credit card debt. According to Bankrate, credit card balances are up 15% over the past year and 46% since the beginning of 2021. High inflation and high interest rates are a big part of the story, with the average credit card charging a record high 20.74% in interest. So what should you do if you're carrying a high balance? Ashley Avery with the First Florida Credit Union says the best thing to do is to set a goal and make a realistic plan to tackle debt. Lay all of your debts out, write everything down, see where you are, because it's so much better to face it head on than it is to try to stick your head in the sand, so to speak. You can try the snow Snowball method, which is paying off your debts from smallest to largest, or the avalanche method, which is paying off your debts from the highest interest rate to the lowest interest rate. But if you're in too much debt, it's a good idea to get help. Money Management International offers free credit counseling in Jacksonville. It helps hundreds of people find solutions to pay down their debts. Last month, we saw about a 65% increase uh, year over year in the number of people going through online counseling with us which is just really, um, really incredibly a high increase. When should you be looking for help? If you feel like you're not making any progress paying down your debt, or maybe you're starting to miss payments. If you're financially stressed, that's really the right time to start looking at what your options are. Another option to consider is a balance transfer. So if you can get a pro approved for a new line of credit, you'll basically transfer your balance from one credit card to another one, and then you'll have a 0% interest rate for a set introductory period. Reporting live downtown, Tiffany Salome, Channel 4, the local station.